Hello, my name is David Lomax. I'm from Barracuda Networks. Today we're going to be talking about Barracuda's firewalling range. Um, so Barracuda has two different types of firewall. We have uh, the Barracuda Next Generation firewall and our Barracuda firewall. Now, there is a distinct reason for the, the split between the two. Barracuda firewall range is, in essence, replacing the old market of UTMs. So UTMs always used to exist to what I always used to call light everything else. So you had a firewall, you had light web filtering, you had light anti-spam. Um, but what you didn't have was a full device doing all of the security you need within the suite. What the Barracuda firewall does is actually give you the best of both worlds. In most networks nowadays, you know, this is a very traditional view of something. We've got a router, we've got our firewall, and we've got the internet. Okay? Traditionally, most firewalls in there are going to do some form of, if it's a UTM, some form of URL filtering. They may also do anti-spam. Um, but really, it's a dedicated firewall appliance. What this means is, the firewall when it was designed was normally originally always designed to do one, fu one function very well, which is firewalling. When you start adding on additional features in the UTM world, we end up trying to have a, a slightly slower firewall or a less efficient firewall um, because it's doing content filtering. What the Barracuda firewall can do is remove this part of the content and send this up to our cloud services. This means the Barracuda firewall is quite happily going across giving you next generation features firewalling, but not having to be bogged down with all the content filtering. You know, traditional UTM firewalls as well would also have some form of AV in it. And AV, as most people know, is quite process intensive. It eats up a lot of CPU cycles, a lot of memory cycles. Um, it, it slows down your firewall doing what it should do and performing efficiently. So all of this is pushed up into the cloud. And with the Barracuda cloud services, we've got full URL filtering, we've got full spam filtering as well, as well as antivirus in the cloud and malware scanning. This means the uh, administrator configuring the firewall doesn't have to compromise on a performance to have the same features for content security. A lot of the times, a uh, UTM firewall would be dramatically over spec because these features took up most of its CPU performance. Um, what this also means in the Barracuda firewall is the firewall is a true next generation firewall for the masses. You know, it's still got the ability to do feature, um, next generation feature, it's application aware, it's detecting what's going through, it's giving prioritization of traffic. This means the key features of the firewall are not being taken down by using other content filtering features. Okay? All of the feature sets up here, fully configurable via our cloud services. Um, you can be very granular about who does what, when they do what, which group does what, which individual does what. It's very, very granular. A lot of the times in a UTM feature, you'd have normally a one-size-fits-all policy with some granularity, but not a great deal of granularity. Using our cloud control for content, for spam, and URL filtering, we get a lot more control over this. Like I said, but that still leaves the firewall doing what it should do best. So we have a true next-generation firewall for the masses. With application detection, we have the ability to do traffic shaping based on applications. So a lot of people nowadays, for example, may be using Salesforce. This is a business application. A lot of people also may be doing another sort of CRM system. You may have external email, and you may have other uh, applications out on the web that you need to do more granular traffic control. Not always nowadays are the applications on the inside of the network. What this means is the Barracuda Firewall has the ability to prioritize this traffic and saying, Salesforce is something we use a lot, it's much higher priority, our CRM system gets a high priority, um, our external email system gets a high priority, but everything else can get a much lower priority. And this can also mean social networking and the rest of things. Now, because you're doing much more detailed uh, content filtering in the cloud, we have a lot of control over the social networking aspect of things. Um, a lot of organizations do want people to be able to use social networking. What they don't want them to be able to do is either um, do something bad for the company, put something up about the company they shouldn't be talking about, or in other words, putting information out there that the company doesn't want out there. With the social networking features, we can go in and we can be very clear. We can say, okay, um, Joe, for example, can go to Facebook, but what you might say is there's no chat, there's no um, posting, but everything else they can do. So all of these features are going to be turned off, but they can go to Facebook. Sometimes you have a marketing department, you may do something different. You might actually say the marketing department can post, they can read, and they can chat with other people. What this leaves us with is with a next generation firewall for the masses, leveraging our cloud control for content security in the cloud, which gives you a lot more granularity and a lot more scalability, something you wouldn't get in a traditional UTM firewall.
That was the Barracuda Firewall, an easy to use, cost effective solution, leveraging our cloud control services for both URL and antivirus, whilst giving you true next generation firewall features and performance for the masses. Thank you.